Good morning. My name is Rabbi Chaim Beliak. Uh, uh, pleased to uh, be with you this morning as we uh, introduce a new feature of a program called Freighted Legacies. Uh, we've often thought it important uh, to reflect from time to time on uh, issues of the day. Um, and uh, this morning, uh, we're uh, coming to you from uh, California. Uh, as part of our program uh, uh, related to Friends of Jewish Renewal in Poland, a comprehensive Poland po pro program about our relationship uh, to uh, the legacy of many uh, Jews in America. Uh, about uh, 70 to 80 percent of the Jews in America uh, have roots and connections uh, both uh, uh, historically and emotionally uh, to uh, Eastern Europe, specifically uh, the lands that um, are today uh, called uh, Poland, Ukraine. Um, and uh, we follow with uh, great interest uh, the history and uh, the reality of those uh, countries uh, today. Uh, though many of our relatives uh, 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 came to America beginning in the uh, uh, 19th and uh, 20th century. Today, our topic focuses on the confluence of uh, uh, three uh, events that are uh, uh, really contemporary. Uh, uh, last week on May uh, 25th, uh, the Biden-Harris uh, administration uh, issued uh, what I think is a uh, historic document uh, expressing its concern in very concrete uh, report uh, that commits itself to addressing the question of uh, anti-Semitism. Uh, in very stark terms, um, Jews make up in America 2.3%, uh, uh, but according to FBI uh, statistics, uh, Jews um, have been the target of uh, a very high number of uh, hate crimes um, in America. Um, uh, numbering some 63% of the uh, hate crimes that have been reported. And uh, this uh, led the Biden-Harris administration to commission a report that was um, officially uh, headed by the first gentleman, um, the uh, spouse of uh, Vice President Harris, um, and it came back with a series of recommendations. We'll talk uh, today and in future sessions about this historic event. I, as a rabbi, I must uh, point out that I don't think there has ever been anything uh, in Jewish history where a national government has, um, with uh, uh, great uh, probity and with uh, great depth, uh, considered the issue of its uh, Jewish minority um, within the context of concern not only for um, Jews in its society, but for every other minority. Um, and I think that's one of its uh, great strengths, that it is clear that uh, the, the situation of Jews cannot be understood in isolation from the concern for the welfare of African Americans, of Asian Americans, of gay and uh, lesbian uh, Americans, um, a whole series of uh, people, uh, uh, recent immigrants, uh, people from uh, the Middle East, uh, Muslims, um, uh, etc. This is a far-ranging uh, and powerful report, and I uh, will, of course, um, invite you to look at uh, the report and invite you to to um, uh, uh, share uh, information about the report. Uh, uh, as, as uh, uh, we uh, discuss the report. Um, the report came just days before um, one of the graphic events that uh, we now understand was a, a, a sea change in American life. Um, the trial that opened um, just the closing days of uh, May uh, when uh, uh, finally uh, the trial uh, for the man that um, perpetrated the murder of 11 people um, 
uh, at the uh, Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, that shattered the sense of uh, Sabbath peace on that day um, and led to, to uh, a profound uh, shock uh, that was confirmed a few months later when uh, the Poe uh, synagogue was attacked in California. Um, and uh, the juxtaposition of that, and finally, um, the event that took place uh, just in the last day of the month of May, when in Poland, a parliamentarian by the name of Jegos Braun uh, attacked a um, lecturer uh, who was giving a, a lecture about uh, the history of uh, Polish uh, uh, Jewish relations, um, uh, was interrupted at the opening of his talk uh, by um, uh, the parliamentarian coming from the, the seats uh, in the audience, grabbing the microphone and uh, taking the microphone and beating the microphone against the podium, walking over to the um, uh, uh, speakers uh, that had been uh, used and uh, breaking uh, the, the, the speakers and um, creating an uproar. Apparently this had been a planned um, uh, uh, activity and uh, breaking the speakers and um, disrupting the entire lecture. Um, Dr. Jan Grabowski, who uh, is a, a noted uh, historian, uh, was uh, not allowed to speak as a result of this um, interruption. And, um, it wasn't until two days later that uh, a uh, suitable forum was found and he was allowed to finally speak at the University of Warsaw. Um, I bring all three of these events uh, to your attention because I think uh, that they, they provide us with um, three uh, interesting and important uh, uh, issues that allow us uh, to see in a critical fashion, uh, some of the things that um, are uh, at play as we think about uh, the future of uh, Jewish life. Uh, it is not um, a small matter uh, that um, the uh, efforts of uh, uh, Jewish life have been uh, uh, challenged um, uh, in, in different ways. First of all, let me return to share with you the um, uh, information about uh, the Biden-Harris uh, 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 activities. Uh, they can be found on uh, uh, websites. Um, and I urge uh, people to take uh, the time. This here is a nine-page um, uh, brief that, that shares uh, the information about uh, uh, the, the plans that include um, various kinds of uh, meetings. Uh, and critical, I think, is its profound understanding of the uh, importance of building uh, cultural relationships um, uh, with uh, sports groups, with um, uh, the great diversity that America has uh, developed um, um, with uh, uh, people from uh, different parts of of uh, America, and it involves various uh, stakeholders in uh, conversations. Uh, I will not um, uh, review today uh, all parts of this, but uh, I do want to uh, point out here, if you can see my cursor, uh, this uh, statistic, uh, and I'll just read this one sentence. Again, American Jews account for 2.4% of the U.S. population but they are the victims of 63% of reported religious motivated uh, crimes, according to the Federal Bureau of Invest, uh, Investigation. That's a profoundly um, large number. Um, I wanna now uh, turn to um, something that is behind what we um, uh, read um, in the 
uh, of what I'm telling you about in Poland. Uh, and that is um, that um, uh, just uh, several weeks ago, uh, Professor Grabowski, who uh, teaches at the University of uh, uh, Warsaw, uh, and uh, a colleague who actually uh, teaches uh, in uh, Southern California, Shira Klein, um, published uh, a Wikipedia uh, article. Uh, and we uh, at uh, uh, Freighted Legacy are intending to do a more uh, complete uh, program. We've invited um, um, uh, uh, the, the professors to uh, have a conversation with us. Um, this is um, a general um, information uh, source for people. Um, this Wikipedia article is entitled Wikipedia's Intentional Distortion of the History of the Holocaust. This is a 60-page article that's uh, available um, uh, and uh, essentially um, after um, very intense research, um, what these uh, two historians uncovered was that um, there apparently uh, is a very serious uh, attempt um, to um, influence this uh, uh, source of uh, uh, work uh, that, uh, and to disallow the Wikipedia sources to um, effectively provide neutral uh, work. Um, their work was challenged um, by um, people uh, suggesting that somehow uh, their work was uh, political, uh, unfair, and um, uh, except for some very, very minor things, their work was found to be completely uh, acceptable. Um, and uh, we are uh, planning a a uh, full uh, opportunity for people uh, to learn more about this, but I want to call it to, to your attention. And um, I hope that people will um, uh, in, indeed uh, come back uh, uh, to us uh, to learn more about it. And this is the immediate background to uh, the events uh, that we learn about uh, where the um, uh, a parliamentarian uh, chose to attack. Uh, this this is uh, the uh, uh, Facebook uh, page uh, where the um, uh, article uh, was found. Um, and um, I'm going to share with you the uh, uh, pictures from the uh, attack um, that are really quite uh, shocking, um, uh, and uh, I know that uh, Professor Gra uh, Gabro Grabowski uh, has written uh, extensively about uh, two matters that are um, uh, of, of issue uh, that um, uh, try to set the, the record straight about matters that happened uh, 80 years ago um, in Poland. Um, we are um, committed to um, the idea that uh, historical truth needs to come to the fore, uh, that it, uh, this is um, a matter of uh, historical record, um, that the, the attempt by historians uh, to place some uh, fan, fantastical idea of national honor, uh, 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 is not appropriate uh, when it comes to writing about uh, the past, uh, that uh, when we write about uh, history, uh, it's the historians that must decide these issues and not the attempts by uh, individuals to rewrite the history, uh, which has um, a profound um, uh, uh, impact on uh, misrepresenting the past for the sake of um, uh, 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 trying to prettify um, a past that is uh, very complex. Uh, people need the opportunity uh, to be confronted by the facts of uh, their past and that historians are the ones that need 
to decide these matters. Uh, we'll be talking about these things um, in the context of uh, trying to uh, provide a clear understanding of uh, Jewish life uh, as it was in the past, as it is uh, here in America. And this is a part of our understanding of how we develop a uh, understanding of uh, who we are as people and how we share our uh, faith and our fate as uh, Jewish people. Uh, I'm Rabbi Chaim Beliak of Friends of Jewish Renewal in Poland, uh, representing uh, Beit Polska, and uh, we will be introducing the many voices of uh, Polish Jewry, uh, both in America and uh, in Poland. And I'm very pleased uh, that uh, we were able to share with you uh, this uh, opening uh, uh, program. And uh, I thank you very much for uh, your participation this morning. Uh, thank you.